Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Kurt Berglund's Baseball World. And tonight, we've got something special. We're doing a Stratomatic Vintage Classic Cards and Dice Festival. That's right. It's a festival. How do you know it's a festival? Because I'm telling you it's a festival. That's how you know. And it's three, three, three games of Stratomatic Classic version, 1972 cards. Game one, the Cincinnati Reds, or if you're Sparky Anderson, Cincinnati Reds, at the Chicago Cubs. Game two, the 72 Angels. All these teams are 72. The Angels at the Chicago White Sox. And game three, the Houston Astros at the New York Yankees. How's that for a matchup? Astros, Yankees in game three. So I'm glad you're with me. I hope you enjoy some late night Stratomatic Vintage Festival Baseball on my channel. And three, I'm spoiler alert, three really good games. Enjoy and Let's watch. Our lineups in game one go like this. Pete Rose leads off in left field. Joe Morgan bats second at second base. Bobby Tolan bats third in center field. Johnny Bench bats fourth. He will catch. Tony Perez bats fifth. He'll play first. Dennis Menke bats sixth. He'll be at third base. In right field, Cesar Geronimo batting seventh. Dave Concepcion will bat eighth and play short. And on the mound, it's Gary Nolan. 1972, Gary Nolan was 15 and 5 with a 1.99 earned run average. All righty. For the homestanding Cubs here at Wrigley Field, Don Kessinger leads off at short. Glenn Beckert bats second at second base. Billy Williams bats third. He'll play left field. Ron Santo bats fourth. He will play third. Jim Hickman bats fifth. He'll be at first base. Jose Cardinal will bat sixth and play right field. Rick Monday bats seventh. He'll be in center. Randy Hundley bats eighth. He'll catch. And on the mound, it's Fergie Jenkins. Fergie Jenkins in 1972 was 20 and 12 with a 3.21 earned run average in 289 innings of work. All right, we are ready to go. Reds and Cubs at Wrigley Field with vintage Stratomatic 1972 baseball. Here's Pete Rose set to lead off against Fergie Jenkins. And here we go. The pitch to Rose is hit on the ground to Glenn Beckert. And Beckert boots it. Clank off his glove, and Rose is safe on an E4 to get the game going. Get the Stratomatic festivities underway. Here's Joe Morgan. Jenkins, the stretch and the delivery to Joe. Popped him up. Beckert on the infield dirt is going to take it for out number one. Now Bobby Tolan comes to the plate. Jenkins kicks and deals to Tolan. Hey, got him on the broccoli cauliflower medley. Gas. Two down in the first bench. Jenkins the stretch checks Rose the pitch to bench. A base hit to center field. Monday charges hard, but Rose is already on his way to third, and he's in there with a head first slide. Reds at the corners now for Tony Perez. The pitch to Perez. Jam job, base hit over Kessinger. It's one nothing Reds in the first inning. Bench stops at second. An unearned run, but the Reds will take it. And Menke comes to the plate. Jenkins the stretch. The pitch to Dennis Menke is hit to center field, but not deep. Rick Monday is there, and he'll put it away for out number three. We go to the bottom of the first. The Reds have jumped out on top, one to nothing. 
Gary Nolan will face Kessinger, Beckert, and Williams in the Cubs first inning. And he was mighty tough and threw hard back in the day. The pitch is hit hard by Kessinger. This is a base hit to right. Drops in front of Geronimo. Kessinger is aboard, and here's Beckert. Nolan the stretch, the pitch, there goes Kessinger, the hit and run is on. And Beckert misses the pitch. The throw down from bench to get Kessinger is in time. He's retired 2-4 uh, on bench down to Morgan, applying the tag. So the hit and run doesn't work. The pitch now from Nolan to Beckert is hit to Tolan in center field. Bobby will make the catch for out number two. Here's Billy Williams. Nolan winds and deals. Ground ball, Menke at third. He gloves it to his left. Throws to Perez for out number three. And we go to the second inning with your score. The Reds one and the Cubs nothing. Fergie will face Geronimo, Concepcion, and Nolan in the Reds' second inning as he will try and calm the big red machine a little bit here. The pitch to Geronimo. Line drive, Kessinger leaps, and he makes the catch. A nice play for out number one. Dave Concepcion, the eighth place hitter today. Jenkins winds and deals. Hey, struck him out on the broccoli cauliflower medley with a little nacho cheese. Gas. Nolan up now. Jenkins winds and deals to the Reds pitcher. It's hit on the ground to Beckert. He gloves it and throws to Hickman, and that will retire the Reds. One, two, three in the second inning. We go to the bottom of two. One nothing Reds. Nolan will face Santo, Hickman, and Cardinal. The pitch from Gary Nolan. Hit in the air to right. Geronimo by the line is going to make the catch for out number one. Hickman up now. Nolan kicks and deals to the Cubs first baseman. Hey, got him on a bender. Two down in the second. Cardinal at the plate. Nolan winds and delivers to Jose. Ball four. He walked him. Brings up Monday. A very young Rick Monday. Nolan the stretch, the pitch to him. Hey, struck him out. Baked beans. Gas. We have played two innings in Wrigley, and it's one nothing Reds. Fergie gets the top of the Reds order in the third. It's Rose, it's Morgan, it's Tolan. Boy, Tolan was such a good player. Man alive. Kind of forgotten, but boy, is he, was he something. Jenkins to Rose. The pitch is hit to left. Billy Williams under it and makes the catch for out number one. Joe Morgan is 0 for 1 today. The pitch from Fergie. Ground ball, Beckert. Cuts it off from going up the middle. Plants and throws to Hickman. They get Morgan by a step. And with two outs and nobody aboard, it's Tolan. Fergie winds and deals. Hit him. Fergie dotted Bobby Tolan, and that'll bring up Bench. Jenkins the stretch. The pitch is hit on the ground to Beckert. He throws to Hickman, and that retires the Reds in inning number three. We've played two and a half, and your score, Reds one, Cubs nothing. Good one at Wrigley. Starting our Stratomatic Vintage Festivities. Hundley, Jenkins, and Kessinger coming up in the bottom of the third. The pitch to Randy Hundley from Gary Nolan. 
Base hit, center field. Bobby Tolan collects it and throws it back in. That'll bring up Fergie. Nolan, the stretch, the pitch to Fergie. He's going to try and lay one down. Bunt it over to Perez. Perez turns and flips to Morgan, and that will move Hundley up to second base with one out. Here's Kessinger. Nolan, the stretch, the pitch to the one-for-one. One. Don Kessinger is hit on the ground to Concepcion. Concepcion fumbles it. Everybody's going to be safe. Hundley gets to third. Kessinger is safe on the E6. And now it's Beckert. A lot of options here. First and third, one out, bottom of the third. The Cubs trail by a run. The Reds are going to play for two. And Nolan, the stretch. And the delivery. Beckert squares to bunt, and he gets it down. Perez gloves it and flips to Morgan. That's his only play. Scoring is Hundley on the suicide squeeze. Kessinger advances to second. We're tied at one. Billy Williams up. Nolan, the stretch. The pitch to the sweet swinger is grounded to Menke at third. He gloves it by the bag and throws to Perez to retire the Cubs in the third, but they get a run on one hit, and they leave one. After three complete, we have a one-to-one -one ball game. Fergie will face Perez, Menke, and Geronimo, 5-6-7 in the Reds order in inning number four. A lot more Stratomatic coming up. Stay tuned. Perez, one for one. Fergie winds and deals. Hey, got him on a bender. Strikeout number three for Fergie. Menke coming up now. 0 for one, the pitch. Ground ball, Kessinger. Don gloves it and throws to Hickman for out number two. Cesar Geronimo with two outs and nobody aboard. Jenkins winds and deals. Base hit to right for Geronimo. Cardinal throws it back in. Concepcion will get in at bat. Nolan would be next. Jenkins the stretch. The pitch to Concepcion and hey, struck him out. Pork and beans. Gas. Fergie not messing around. We go to the bottom of four and we're tied at one. Wrigley Field, beautiful sunshiny day. Santo, Hickman, and Cardinal coming up in the Cubs' fourth. Santos 0 for 1. Nolan kicks and deals. Fly ball to center. Bobby Tolan is under it, and he's going to make the catch for out number one. Here's Jim Hickman. Hit on the ground to Concepcion. Davies up with it, and he just airmailed Tony Perez. Going to rattle around in foul territory. Hickman's got himself at down to second base, a two-base error on Concepcion, his second in four innings. Here's Cardinal. Nolan the stretch, the pitch to Jose. Hit to left, dying quail. Here comes Rose, two down. Hickman holds on at second. Here's Monday. Hundley would be next. Nolan, the stretch, the pitch to him is ball four. Randy Hundley now with Hickman at second and Monday at first. Fergie would be next now. Nolan, the stretch, the pitch to Randy Hundley. Popped him up. This wouldn't be a home run in a phone booth. Joe Morgan under it on the infield dirt is going to make the catch for out number three. We've played four. With your score, Reds 1, Cubs 1, 1972 Vintage Stratomatic. Nolan, Rose, and Morgan coming up in the Reds' uh, fifth inning. Fergie winds and deals to Gary Nolan. Combacker, gloved by Fergie. He turns and throws to Hickman for out number one. Pete Rose coming up now. He's 0 for 2, the pitch. Ground ball, Kessinger. Don's up with it. 
Fires to Hickman, and there are two down. Joe Morgan now 0 for 2. Fergie kicks and deals. Ground ball, Beckert. He gloves it, throws to Hickman, and that will retire the Reds in the fifth. We're halfway through this one, but we've decided nothing. Your score, Reds 1, Cubs 1. Fergie will lead off the fifth. It'll be Fergie, Kessinger, and then Beckert coming for the Cubs as they try and take the lead in this ball game for the first time. Fergie leads it off. Hey, swung and missed on that fastball. He looked bad. Gas. Here's Kessinger. One for two. The pitch. Popped him up. Morgan in short right field is going to make the catch for out number two. Glenn Beckert, 0 for 1 with a ribby. A suicide squeeze bunt in the third tied the game, the pitch. Hit in the air to right, Cesar Geronimo coming in and makes the catch for out number three. After five, complete. Reds 1, Cubs 1, 1972 vintage Stratomatic action. These are the old classic cards. Tolan, Bench, and Perez coming up. Three, four, five, the meat of Sparky Anderson's order. The pitch from Fergie. Base hit to right for Tolan to lead off the sixth. Cardinal gets it back in. Uh, let's see, they might want to send him. Tolan working on his lead. Bench takes the pitch. The throw down from Hundley. Not in time. Tolan steals second. He's in scoring position. Fergie's got a sixth inning jam. Fergie the stretch, the delivery. Hit to left, but not deep. Coming in is Billy Williams, and he's got it for out number one. Tony Perez, one for two with the RBI, of course, in this game. Jenkins the stretch, the pitch to Tony. Jam, job, broken, bat gets over Beckert's head. He's going to chase it down. Tolan will stop at third. He had to wait and see if Beckert was going to catch it. So it's Reds at the corners now for Menke. Cubs infield is going to play in. The pitch to Dennis Menke. Hey, struck him out. He humped up on that fastball. Two down in the sixth. Geronimo coming up. He's one for two. Jenkins, the stretch and the delivery to Cesar Geronimo, and this is trouble. It's a bug on a rug. It's going to split Monday and Cardinal go for extra bases. Tolan scores. Perez is going to be waived. Yes, he's going to be waived. The relay from Beckert home to Hundley is not in time. It's a two-run double for Geronimo and a three-run, 3-1 three Reds lead. Concepcion coming up with Nolan on deck. First base open. They could walk him. But Concepcion, Davey was still in the Navy and probably will be for life in 1972 and not good with the bat. Jenkins, the stretch and the delivery, is hit to Santo at third. Santo boots it. Everybody's going to be safe. Concepcion at first. Geronimo sneaks into third base. And here comes Nolan. 3-1 Reds in the sixth. Jenkins, the stretch, the pitch to Gary Nolan. Hey, struck him out. Made him look awful. He didn't come within... <laughs> He didn't come within three feet of that bender. The Reds get two in the sixth, however, on three hits and take a 3-1 lead as we go to the bottom of six. The meat of the Cub order coming up. William Santo Hickman in the Cubs sixth. Billy is 0 for 2. Gary Nolan's been tough. He's allowed two hits, both singles. The pitch. Hopped up one more time for Joe Morgan. And there's one down. 
Santo up now. He's 0 for 2. Nolan kicks and deals. Ground ball to Dennis Menke. He gloves it by the bag and fires to Perez for out number 2. Jim Hickman is 0 for 2. The pitch from Nolan. Line drive caught by a diving Concepcion. That will retire the side in the sixth. We go to the seventh. Reds three, Cubs one in the first of our Stratomatic Festival. Late night festival. Let me know how you like it. Classic Stratomatic 1972 season cards. Tell me in the comments how you like this. Rose, Morgan, and Tolan coming up. Fergie deals to Rose. Base hit for Pete. Gets through up the middle. Monday gets it back in. He's on. Here's Morgan. Fergie the stretch and the delivery to Joe. Ground ball, Kessinger. He's going to go to Beckert for one, and the relay to Hickman is in time for a rally-killing Soul crushing 6 4 3 double play turned by the Cubs, and that'll bring up Tolan with nobody on. Fergie kicks and deals to Bobby Tolan. He walked him. With two outs now, it's bench. One for three for Johnny. Jenkins the stretch, the pitch to center field, but not deep. Monday there, and he will retire the side. In the seventh, time to stretch him out at Wrigley. No sign of Harry Carey in 1972. With your score, the Reds three, the Cubs one. Bottom of the seventh coming. Cubs have some work to do against the tough Gary Nolan. Cardinal Monday and Hundley, if anybody reaches Fergie Jenkins, or a tough decision for Leo DeRocher. Cardinal is 0 for 1. Nolan kicks and deals. Hit the left. Pete Rose over by the line is going to make the catch for out number 1. Here's Monday. Nolan kicks and deals to Monday. Ground ball Morgan. He cuts it off from going up the middle. Plants and throws to Perez for out number 2. Here's Randy Hundley. 1 for 2. Hey, struck him out. Gas. Number four for Nolan, we go to the eighth. Reds three, Cubs one. Perez, Menke, Geronimo against Fergie in the eighth. All right, Perez up there now. Two for three, the pitch from Fergie. Hey, struck him out. Baked beans. Number seven for Fergie. Here's Menke. 0 for 3. The pitch. Comebacker to Fergie. He gloves it and flips to Hickman for out number two. Cesar Geronimo is 2 for 3. He's got the big hit in the game. A two-run double in the sixth. The pitch. Line. Oop, and I'm throwing stuff all over the room. Line drive. Kessinger makes the catch. For out number three, we go to the bottom of the eighth. Reds three, uh, Cubs one, and the Reds' bullpen is starting to get active. Clay Carroll, the Hawk, is starting to throw for Sparky. Fergie is due. We're going to see a pinch hitter. And Gary Nolan's going to start the eighth at least. Pinch hitting for Nolan, or excuse me, pinch hitting for Fergie Jenkins will be Joe Pepitone. No sign of his hair dryer. Pepitone, sort of a backup role in 1972. Played first some. Uh, and then throwing in the Cub bullpen is Jack Aker. He will take over in the ninth. 
Gary Nolan to Joe Pepitone. Nolan has retired 10 in a row of the pitch. It's going to be 11. Ground ball Concepcion. He gloves it and fires to Perez. Fraud number two. Fraud number one, excuse me. Kessinger up now. He's one for three. Cubs have two hits. Kessinger has one. Hundley has one. The pitch. Hit to right. Geronimo back and makes the catch for out number two. Beckert is 0 for 2. The pitch. Hit to center. Bobby Tolan into right center. Going to make a nice running catch, and that will retire the Cubs in the eighth. Gary Nolan throwing a gem. We go to the ninth with your score. Reds 3, Cubs 1. Aker is on for the Cubs. There's short man in 72. He was 6-6 six and six with a 296 earned run average in 67 innings of work. He will face Concepcion, Nolan, or a pinch hitter, and then Rose. Davey, of course, has not finished his military obligations. The pitch from Aker. Combacker to Jack. He turns and throws to Hickman for out number one. Going to let Nolan bat here, even though Sparky was Captain Hook. If you give up, if you got a two hitter going, I'm leaving you in. The pitch to Nolan is a ground ball to Becker. He's up with it and throws to Hickman for out number one. Number two, I can count. Remember, friends, there's three kinds of people, those that can do math and those that cannot. Uh, math is uh, fun. Rose, one for four, the pitch from Aker. Hit to center field. Coming on is Rick Monday, and that will retire the side in inning number nine. Gary Nolan coming out to try and finish the deal. He's got a two-hit gem going. Clay the Hawk Carroll is ready in the Reds bullpen for Sparky. It's the meat of the Cubs order coming up in the bottom of the ninth. Billy Williams, Ron Santo, Jim Hickman. If anybody gets on, Jose Cardinal. Williams is 0 for 3. The pitch to the sweet swinger is grounded to Menke at third. Dennis is up with it, throws to Perez, and there's out number one. Nobody has reached base for the Cubs since the fourth inning. Nolan DeSanto, the pitch. Ball four, he walked him. Here comes Sparky, and that's going to be it for Nolan. That's going to be as far as Captain Hook would let it go. So Nolan goes eight and a third, allows two hits. He walks three, he strikes out four, he allows one run. It was not earned thanks to the awful, awful, brutal defensive play by Dave Concepcion. Two errors in the game for him. And it's going to be the Hawk to try and finish this up, pick up a save. Six and four with a 2.25 in 96 innings. In 1972 for Clay Carroll, he was a tough hombre. And people forget how hard he threw, but in his day, which had passed by the 75 World Series, he was throwing junk by then. But when he was younger, he was throwing gas. So now it's Hickman, who is the tying run at the plate. Santo is on first. Jim is 0 for 3. Carroll the stretch, the pitch. Ground ball, Concepcion. He goes to Morgan for one. The relay to Perez is in time for a rally-killing, soul-crushing, and game-ending double play turned by the Reds. That makes Gary Nolan a 3-1 to -one winner. Let's give you the totals in game one of our festival. Three runs, seven hits, and they committed two Brutal, ugly errors, both by Dave Concepcion, who has yet to complete his military obligations. The uh, 72 Cubs, one run on just two hits, and they committed one, two errors themselves that weren't especially pretty. 
Gary Nolan gets the win. Fergie Jenkins takes the tough luck loss, and Clay Carroll picks up a save. That's it for game one. Come on back for game two. It's the we'll be down at Comiskey Park. The 72 Angels taking on the 72 White Sox in just a moment. The lineups for game two from beautiful old Comiskey Park. Leading off at second base for the 72 Angels, it's Sandy Alomar. Batting second in center field, Ken Berry. Batting third in left field, Veda Pinson. Batting fourth at first base, Bob Oliver. Batting fifth at third base, Ken McMullen. Batting sixth, oh, excuse me. I got that wrong. Batting fifth in right field, Lee Stanton. Batting sixth in third base, Ken McMullen. Batting seventh at short, it's Leo Cardenas. And batting eighth behind the plate, it's Art Kushner. On the mound, it's Nolan Ryan, a very young Nolan Ryan. 19 and 16 in 1972 with a 2.28 earned run average. 284 innings of work and 329 strikeouts. He only gave up 14 bombs. All right, for the White Sox, Pat Kelly leads it off in right field. Mike Andrews bats second at second base. Dick Allen, the American League MVP, bats third at first base. Carlos May bats fourth in left field. This is why you need quality control, people. When stuff like this happens. Bill Melton bats fifth at third base. Rick Reichardt bats sixth in center field. Ed Herman bats seventh. He'll do the catching. And Rich Morales will bat eighth and play shortstop. On the mound, it's Wilbur Wood. Woody, in 1972, was 24-17 and 17 with a 2.51 earned run average. 377 innings of work. 325 hits allowed. Yikes. All right, this is going to be a fun one. Ryan versus Wood. Uh, at Comiskey. Alomar leads it off. Here's the pitch from Wood to Alomar. Is hit in the air to left. That's Carlos May. And he drops the ball. Carlos May drops the ball. Alomar gets to second on the air. Here's Ken Berry. Wood, the stretch and the delivery. Ground ball short. Holding at second is Berry. Rich Morales throws to Dick Allen for out number one. Veda Pinson coming up now. Wood, the stretch, the pitch. Line drive caught by Dick Allen. Two down. Here's Bob Oliver. The pitch to Bob Oliver. Ground ball, Melton at third. He gloves it and throws to Dick Allen for out number three. So the leadoff error doesn't hurt. We go to the bottom of the first with no score at Comiskey. Kelly, Andrews, and Allen coming up for the Sox in the bottom of the first. Ryan kicks and deals. Center field, not deep. Ken Berry is there. No sign of Larry Storch. And there's one down. Ryan winds and delivers to Mike Andrews. He hits it to left. Coming in is Veda Pinson for out number two. Dick Allen, the man. Ryan kicks and deals. Hey, struck him out on the broccoli cauliflower medley. Gas. We've played one. We have no score at Comiskey. Stanton, McMullen, and Cardenas coming up in the Angels' second inning. Wood kicks and deals. Ground ball, Rich Morales. This will be an adventure, and it gets by him. Into left field for a hit. They're going to charitably give Stanton a base hit. And Ken McMullen comes up. Sox infield it double played up. Wood the stretch, the delivery. Hit to left. This is going to drive Carlos May back a few steps, but he's got room and there's one down. Stanton returns to first base. Cardenas comes up. 
Wilbur Wood, the stretch and the delivery is a line drive caught by Mike Andrews. He throws to Dick Allen, but not in time. Stanton scrambles back. And with two outs, it'll be Art Kushner. Nolan Ryan would be next. Would the stretch the pitch to the angel catcher. Hey, struck him out on a flutter ball. That is three outs in the Angels second. We go to the bottom of two with no score at Comiskey. Nolan Ryan has ratcheted, has locked on to one strikeout of Dick Allen so far. How many is he going to get? That's the question on America's mind. Carlos May, Bill Melton, Rick Reichart, four, five, six. Ryan kicks and deals. Comebacker. He gloves it and throws to Bob Oliver for out number one. Bill Melton. You need quality control, people. All right, here we go. The pitch from Ryan to Melton. Hey, struck him out. The broccoli cauliflower medley with a little nacho cheese. Gas. Ryan to right guard. Walked you. A two-out walk to the Sox center fielder. Ed Herman coming up. Ryan the stretch, the delivery to the Sox catcher. Ground ball, Ken McMullen. He gloves it and fires to Bob Oliver for out number three. We've played two with your score. Angels nothing, Sox nothing. In the Angels' third, it's Ryan, Alomar, and Barry, 9-1-2, coming for the, the Halos. All right. Woods pitched to Ryan. Hey, struck him out. One gone in the Angel third on the flutter ball. Ryan had no chance. Alomar now. Ground ball to Dick Allen. He gloves it to his right and feeds the, and if that's the word I'm looking for, for Wilbur Wood, he feeds Wilbur Wood covering the bag, and there's two down in the Angel third. Ken Berry now. No sign of Carol Burnett or any of the Burnett Show gang. The pitch from Wilbur Wood is hit to left and deep. Back goes Carlos May, and it's gone. A home run for Barry. He waves to Larry Storch in the crowd, who has now arrived at the ballpark. Barry went deep five times in 1972, and he just took Wilbur Wood deep that time. Here's Veda Pinson. Wood's delivery to him. I struck him out. Number three for Woody, but the Angels get a run on a bomb from Ken Barry. A wall scraper. We go to the bottom of three with your score. Angels one, Sox nothing. Rich Morales, Wilbur Wood. And then the top of the order with Pat Kelly coming in the uh, Sox third. Ryan kicks and deals. Ground ball. Weekly hit to Leo Cardenas. He throws to Bob Oliver for out number one. Here's Wilbur Wood. And gas. Baked beans. Strikeout number three for Ryan. Pat Kelly coming. 0 for 2 for Kelly. 0 for 1 for Kelly. And it's launched to right field. Stanton back. And he'll make the nice running catch for out number three. We go to the fourth. Angels lead 1-0. We got a good one. Nolan Ryan, Wilbur Wood in game two of our extravaganza of Stratomatic Vintage. Vintage 1972 cards. Woo! <laughs> All right, Oliver against Wood. The pitch. Hey, struck him out on the flutter ball. They don't know where it's going. 
Wood doesn't know, Ed Herman doesn't know, and the batter certainly doesn't know. Stanton up there now, one for one. Wood kicks and deals. Ground ball, Rich Morales. Everybody ducks in the first base box seats, but he makes a good throw to Dick Allen for out number two. Ken McMullen is 0 for 1. Wood winds and deals. Popped him up. This wouldn't be a home run in a phone booth. Mike Andrews under it, and he will make the catch for out number three. After three and a half, Angels 1, Sox nothing. Mike Andrews, Dick Allen, Carlos May, no safeties yet for the White Sox. Ryan winds and delivers. Hey, got him on the pork and beans. Gas. Dick Allen now. Ryan winds and deals to the MVP. He walked him. Second walk allowed by Allen, by Ryan. May comes to the plate. One on, one out in the Sox fourth. Ryan the stretch, the delivery. Ball four, third walk for Ryan. Two on now with one out. Here's Melton. Have I mentioned quality control? Ryan the stretch and the deliveries. Ball four, he walked the bases loaded. Angels are going to play back for a double play. Rick Reichardt at the plate. Ryan the stretch, the delivery to Reichardt. Ball four, he walked in a run. Four consecutive walks by Ryan, and it's a 1-1 ball game. Ed Herman comes to the plate. Double plate up for the Angels. Ryan the stretch, the pitch. Base hit to right, drops in front of Stanton. May scores. They're going to wave Bill Melton. He's a 1-12. to Stanton is a minus three. No, they're going to put the brakes on Bill Melton. And they're still loaded. It's 2-1 Sox with one out in the fourth. Rich Morales up there. Double played up for the infield. The pitch to Morales from Ryan has popped up. Ken McMullen in fair territory is going to take it for out number two. Infield fly rule on that. No, no infield fly on that one. And now it's Wood against Ryan. Ground ball, Alomar. And Alomar is going to go the short way to Cardenas, and that will end the Sox fourth. But the Sox get two runs off of Ryan on one hit, and they leave him loaded. We go to the fifth with your score. White Sox two, Angels one. Wood will face Cardenas, Kushner, and Ryan. In inning number five, it's a vintage Stratomatic Festival. We're in the fifth inning. Wood to Cardenas, the pitch. Ground ball, Bill Melton. He's up with it and throws to Dick Allen for out number one. Art Kushner coming up. Briefly a brewer after this season. I think 73, he was there for a little while. Wood to Kushner. Comebacker to Wilbur Wood. He gloves it, throws to Allen for out number two. Nolan Ryan with two outs and nobody aboard. Wood winds and deals. Popped him up. Mike Andrews on the infield dirt is going to take it for out number three. We're halfway through. We had a good game. It's White Sox 2, Angels 1, 1972, Vintage Stratomatic. Old school cards, old school X charts, the whole nine yards. Ryan to Kelly. Ground ball, Ken McMullen. He gloves it, throws to Bob Oliver for out number one. Here's Andrews. Ryan has struck out four. The pitch. Hey, struck out five. Andrews is gone on a bender. Here's Dick Allen. Struck out once, walked once. The pitch from Ryan. Hey, struck out twice. Number six for Ryan on the gas. We go to inning number six. White Sox two, Angels one. Having fun at Comiskey with vintage, old school, Stratomatic baseball. Top of the order coming for the Angels. It's Alomar, Barry, and Pinson. 
Wood winds and deals. Hit to left. Weekly. Carlos May coming on, and there's one down. Eight in a row retired now for Wilbur. Ken Berry hit a homer in the third to account for the Angels scoring. Wilbur Wood winds and deals, and that's another hit for Berry. Base hit up the middle. Brings up Pinson. Wood the stretch, the delivery. There goes Barry, and the hit and run is on. Line drive caught by Andrews. He's going to throw to Allen, and the double play, a rally killing, soul crushing. Line drive, hit and run, double play. Yikes. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Sox two, Angels one. Ryan now with six strikeouts. May 0 for 1. The pitch from Ryan. Line drive toward Alomar. He makes the catch. A nice leaping grab by Sandy. There's one down. Bill Melton at the plate. Bill Melton. He'll be doing the post-game show after the game. The pitch from Ryan. Hey, struck him out on a bend. He's got the curve working. Number seven for Ryan. Reichardt now. The pitch. Hey, got him. Number eight. He humped up on that fastball. We go to the seventh with your score. Sox two, Angels one. Ryan needs some support here. He had one bad inning where he walked four, four guys in a row. But he was blazing. He was humping up on that fastball. Oliver 0 for 2. The pitch from Wood. Ground ball, Dick Allen. Dick Allen gloves it. And he's going to stagger to the bag and make the play unassisted. One down. Stanton now. One for two, the pitch from Woody. Hit to left and deep for Stanton. Back goes Carlos May. We got a 2-2 game. He rode that flutter ball out of here. Woo! Good game in the seventh. Here comes McMullen. 0 for two, the pitch from Woody. Hit to left, but this one in the left center. On the run is Carlos May, and he makes a nice running catch. There's two down. Leo Cardenas, 0 for two. The pitch from Woody. Base hit for Cardenas. Two out single brings up Kushner. Ryan would be next. Are they going to hit for him? Kushner 0 for 2. Wood the stretch and the delivery. Hit to center field. Reichardt. Everybody shudders, but he holds on and, <laughs> and makes the catch. Four out number three, but the Angels get a run on a bomb from Stanton and tie the game at two. Time to stretch him out of Comiskey. And there is a sign of Harry Carey. He's going to sing Take Me Out to the Ball Game. I am not. Ed Herman, Rich Morales, Wilbur Wood coming up in the bottom of the seventh against Nolan Ryan. It's vintage Stratomatic in the bottom of the seventh. We got a 2-2 game. Nolan Ryan, Wilbur Wood locked up in a good one. Herman, Morales, and Wood, 7-8-9. The pitch from Ryan. Hit to center field. Ken Berry is going to dance and sing and make the catch for out number one. Rich Morales, 0 for 2. The pitch from Ryan is hit to left and deep. Back goes Pinson, warning track, wall. Rich Morales just took Nolan Ryan out of here. Rich Morales with two dongs on the season. And one of them, a Nolan Ryan fastball. Yikes. Wilbur Wood gets a new life. 3-2 Sox, ground ball, Alomar. And it's by him, a bad hop single. Woody is on base, and they want to see him run those bases. Ryan the stretch, the pitch to Pat Kelly, hit to left. Veda Pinson is, it's going to drop. It's going to drop in front of Pinson and bounce crazy. It's going to be extra bases. Wilbur Wood hustling to third base, and God, I wish there was video of that. 
Pat Kelly stopping at second. There's men at second and third for the Sox with Andrews coming up. He's 0 for 3. The Angels infield is going to play in. Ryan the stretch. The pitch to Mike Andrews. Ground ball short. Cardenas has it. Wilbur Woods coming home. Good God, the throw to Art Kushner. The throw to Art Kushner is in time. They got Woody by 14 steps. Woo! Playing in the infield. Uh, paid off that time. They got Wood at home. Uh, Kelly advances to third. Andrews safe at first. There's two outs now. 3-2 Sox lead. We're in the bottom of the seventh, and Dick Allen is at the plate. Well, they could walk him, but the thing is, Ryan walked so many people, he'd be likely walking Carlos May as well, so he's going to face Allen. Ryan the stretch, the pitch to Dick Allen. Hey, struck him on number nine for the Express. We go to the eighth with your score. Sox three, Angels two. Wilbur Wood coming back out, but Terry Forster starting to throw. The big tub of goo is starting to throw in the White Sox bullpen. And get himself all loosened up. Now do you let Ryan hit here in the top of the eighth? I'm thinking... I'm thinking you do. We're letting him hit the pitch from Wood to Ryan. Hey, struck him out. Yikes. He threw him a knuckleball. He swung at it four times. <laughs> and that's number five for Woody. Here's Alomar. 0 for 3. The pitch from Wood. Ground ball, Bill Melton. Everybody ducks in those first base box seats. But Melton makes the play to Dick Allen for out number 2. Here's Ken Berry, the offensive star of the of the game for the Angels. And I'm not saying offensive because he couldn't sing or dance. Or act. The pitch <laughs> the pitch from Wood to Barry is hit on the ground to Melton. He's up with it and throws to Dick Allen for out number three. Angels come up empty in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Nolan Ryan coming back out. He'll face May, Melton, and Reichart in the bottom of the inning. Sox looking for more. Ryan kicks and deals to Carlos May. Ground ball, Ken McMullen. And Ken McMullen throws it in the dirt past Bob Oliver. May going to second on a two-base throwing error by McMullen. Here's Melton. Ryan's going to have to work out of this himself, although action is now starting in the Angels' bullpen. Steve Barber and... Yikes. Steve Barber and Lloyd Allen. Lefty-righty double-barreled action just the way manager Del Rice likes it whenever he's in the city with broad, big shoulders, broad shoulders, shoulders that are wide. The pitch to Melton from Ryan. Hit to left. Veda Pinson in his tracks is going to make the catch for out number two. Here's Rick Reichart. He's 0 for 1. The pitch. He walked him. Two on now with one out for Herman. Ryan, the stretch, the pitch to Ed Herman. Popped him up. Bob Oliver in fair territory. Infield fly and there's two down. Rich Morales took Ryan deep just by a sinning. If he does it again, I don't know what. Ryan the stretch, the delivery to Morales, and he just blew him away. Ten strikeouts for Ryan in eight innings. We're going to the ninth with your score. Sox three, Angels two. Good game. Stratomatic Vintage Festival.
Wilbur Wood as Pinson, Oliver, and Stanton, the meat, if that's the expression I'm looking for, of the Angels lineup in the ninth. The pitch to Veda. Ground ball, Rich Morales. This is causing everybody to scramble in those first base boxes. And Morales throws to Dick Allen for out number one. Here comes Bob Oliver. He's got the power to launch one out of here. Three, two socks were in the ninth. He's 0 for 3. Stanton is on deck, and he already has launched one out of here. The pitch to Oliver from Wood. Ground ball, Rich Morales. Bad hop, base hit for Oliver. He's on, he's the tying run. Lee Stanton is a go-ahead run, and he's 2 for 3, and here comes Chuck Tanner. He wants Forster. Young Terry Forster going to come in and try and throw some smoke. He was 6-5 and five in 72 with a 225 earned run average and 100 innings of relief. All right, here we go. Forster to Stanton. The stretch, the delivery. Hey, struck him out with the gas. Two down. That makes McMullen the last chance saloon for the Angels. He's 0 for 3. Cardenas would be next. The pitch from Forster. Base hit McMullen. Into left field. May charges hard. Oliver stops at second. Two on, two outs, and we have a new last chance saloon in Leo Cardenas at the plate. He's one for three. Forrester the stretch and the delivery. Hey, struck him out on the Sox win. Three, two. Sox win. Sox win. Give you the totals. For the homestanding and victorious Chicago White Sox. Three runs on three, four base hits. And they committed one error that you could count. The Angels, two runs on seven hits off of Woody. Oh, six off of Woody and one off of Forrester. And they committed one error. The winning pitcher is Wilbur Wood. The save goes to Terry Forrester. The hard luck loser, Nolan Ryan. Come on back for game three of our Stratomatic Vintage Festival. And to conclude our vintage 1972 Stratomatic Festival, festival, we are in Yankee Stadium where the Houston Astros, led by none other than Leo DeRocher, and yes, he was managing the Cubs earlier in this festival, will be taking on the 1972 New York Yankees and the major Ralph Houck at Yankee Stadium. We have a battle of right-handers. It's Don Wilson on the mound for the Astros. Steve Klein, a 16-game winner for the Yankees. Should be a good game. This Yankee team wasn't bad. Uh, and the Astros, of course, second place in the West. So they gave the Reds a run for their money. Let's take a look at today's starting lineups as we conclude our triple header Stratomatic 1972 original card vintage festival. Off in center field for the visiting Astros, it's Cesar Cedeno. Batting second at second base, Tommy Helms. Batting third in right field, Jimmy Wynn. Betting fourth at first base, Lee May. Betting fifth in left field, Bob Watson. Betting sixth at third base, Doug Rader. Betting seventh, the catcher, John Edwards. He's going to cross over later in the game. Roger Metzger will bat eighth and play shortstop. And on the mound, it's Don Wilson. He was 15 and 10 with a 2.68 earned run average. Uh, in 228 innings of work in 1972. All right. For the homestanding New York Yankees, Roy White leads off in left. Thurman Munson bats second at catcher. Bobby Mercer bats third in center field. Ron Bloomberg will bat fourth. He'll play first. John Callison will bat fifth. He'll play right. 
Celerino Sanchez will bat sixth and play third. Horace Clark bats seventh. He'll play second. Gene Michael bats eighth. He'll play short. And on the mound, Steve Klein. 16 and 9 with a 2.40 earned run average in 1972 and 236 innings of work. Let's get it going. Game three of the festival. Buckle up. Sedeno against Klein, the pitch. Base hit to right for Cesar Sedeno. He's aboard. Here's Tommy Helms. Klein, the stretch. The pitch to Helms. There goes Sedeno, and the hit and run is on. Popped him up. Horace Clark calling and taking as Sedeno scrambles back to first. One down. Jimmy Wynn. And a base hit to center. Cedeno is going to go to third. The throw comes into second from Bobby Mercer. And there's Astros at the corners with one out. Here's Lee May, the Yankee infield playing for two. The pitch from Klein. Base hit to right. Drops in front of Callison. Scoring is Cedeno. Stopping at second is Win, And the Astros break out on top. one nothing. Here's Bob Watson. Double play depth for the Yankee infield. Klein the stretch. The delivery. Ball four. He walked in. The bases are dripping with Astros for Doug Rader. They're going to keep the infield at double play depth. Klein the stretch. And the delivery to Rader popped him up. This wouldn't be a home run in a phone booth. Gene Michael under it on the infield dirt. One down, two down, excuse me, two down, I can count. Remember, friends, there's three kinds of people, those that can count and those that cannot. John Edwards at the plate. He's going to cross over later. Klein, the stretch and the delivery. Hey, struck him out on a bender. That will get the Astros retired in the first inning, but they get a run on three hits. They leave three. We go to the bottom of the first, one nothing Houston. Don Wilson with a cushion now. He'll face White, Munson, and Mercer in the Yankee first. Don Wilson winds and deals to Roy White, and there's a base hit to right field. Jimmy Wynn gets it back in. Here's Munson. Wilson the stretch. There goes White. The hit and run is on. Munson swings. And it's a base hit into right field. Drops in front of May. In front of uh, Wynn. Going to third is White. There's Yankees at the corners in the bottom of the first. Mercer up. Astros playing for a double play. Wilson the stretch. The pitch to Bobby Mercer. Hey, struck him out on the broccoli cauliflower medley. Gas. Bloomberg up now. Astros still looking for a twin killing. Wilson the stretch. The delivery to Bloomberg. Ground ball Raider. He's going to go to Helms for one. The relay to May is not in time. Bloomberg beats the rap with speed we didn't know he had. White scores from third. We're tied at one. Callison comes to the plate now. One of my all-time favorite players. Not having a great 72, but he was okay. Wilson the stretch and the delivery. Ground ball. Tommy Helms to his left. Gloves it. Throws to Lee May, and that'll retire the Yankees in the first. So we've played one, and everybody has a run. Everybody's playing nice. We go to the second. Klein will face Metzger, Wilson, and then the top of the Astros order with Cesar Cedeno. The pitch from Klein to Metzger is hit in the air to center, but not deep. Bobby Mercer coming in a few steps. He'll make the catch for out number one. Here's Wilson. Klein kicks and deals, and hey, blows away Don Wilson. Two down, no sign of Dennis the Menace, and here's Cesar Cedeno. The pitch. Hey, struck out Cedeno on a bender. 
It's a one, two, three, second inning. We go to the bottom of two. Both teams have one run. Sanchez, Clark, and Michael coming up for the Yankees. Six, seven, eight in the Yankees second. Wilson winds and deals to Sanchez. Hey, got him on a bender. Two strikeouts for Wilson. Horace Clark is up there now. Wilson kicks and deals. Clark gets a piece of it to center. Cedeno is there, and there's two down. Gene Michael with two outs and nobody aboard. Wilson kicks and deals, and there's a base hit for Stick. To left field, it's going to turn the lineup over. Klein gets to bat in the second. Wilson the stretch and the delivery to Klein. Hey, struck him out. Baked beans. Gas. We've played two and our score is one to one. We've had really three really good games in our festival of Stratomatic Vintage 1972 cards. Helms win in May, two, three, four hitters, the pitch. Tommy Helms to left and deep. White back, but he's got room. It's Death Valley, one down. Jimmy Wynn, one for one for Wynn. The pitch to him, base hit to right. Wynn is aboard. Lee May is up. Klein the stretch, the delivery, there goes Wynn. May takes, Munson's throw down to Horace Clark is not in time. Stolen base for Jimmy Wynn. May behind in the count on one, the pitch from Klein. Base hit up the middle for Lee May. Around third comes Jimmy Wynn and it's 2-1 Astros. Lee May has both RBIs for Houston. He's on board at first. Bob Watson comes to the plate. The Yankee infield looking for a double play. Klein the stretch, the delivery. Ground ball, Sanchez. He's going to go to Clark for one. It's in the dirt. Clark can't dig it out. Everybody's safe. May slides in safely. Watson is safe at first. They're going to give Sanchez an E5. And here comes Raider. He's 0 for 1. The pitch from Klein. Line drive caught by Bloomberg. Or it would have decapitated him, which is the only reason he caught it. Edwards comes up now. Two outs, two on for Houston in the third. Klein the stretch, the pitch to Edwards. Popped up. Bloomberg with another chance. Everybody shudders, but he hangs on to the ball. And that'll end the Houston third. But they get a run on two hits. They leave two. After two and a half, it's 2-1 Astros. Wilson will face the top of the Yankee order now. White, Munson, and Mercer in the Yankee third. Roy White is one for one. The pitch. Ball four. He walked him. Wilson going to try and hold White close. Munson at the plate. The pitch to Munson. He takes a strike. White is on the run. The throw from Edwards down to Tommy Helms is in time. They shoot down Roy White trying to steal. All right, here's Munson behind in the count, 0-1. Ground ball, Roger Metzger. He throws to Lee May for out number two. Here's Mercer. He struck out in the first. Wilson winds and deals. Ground ball, Raider. He gloves it. He throws in the dirt, and May cannot dig it out. E5 on Raider. Ugly defensive play so far in this one. 2-1 Astros lead. We're in the bottom of the third. Wilson to Bloomberg, the pitch. Ground ball, Tommy Helms, gloves it. Goes the short way to Metzger, and that will retire the Yankees in the third. We go to the fourth with your score, Astros 2, Yankees 1. Metzger, Wilson, and Cedeno coming up 
in the Houston fourth against Steve Klein. All right. The pitch from Klein to Metzger. Ground ball. Horace Clark to his left. Gloves it. Plants and throws to Bloomberg very carefully. And there's one out. Here's Wilson. Klein kicks and deals. Line drive. Caught by Bloomberg. Another act of self-defense. Hauk in the dugout with his head in his hands. Sedeno up there, one for two of the pitch. From Klein, he pops it up. On the infield dirt, it's Celerino Sanchez. And that will retire the Astros in inning number four. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Astros two, Yankees one. Don Wilson gets to face Callison, Sanchez, and Clark. In the bottom of the fourth for New York. Johnny Callison, the pitch from Wilson. Base hit up the middle for Callison. Sedeno collects it and throws it back in. Sanchez is up. Wilson the stretch, the delivery to Callison. There he goes, the delivery to Sanchez. There goes Callison. He misses the pitch. Sanchez comes up with air. Edwards throwing down. Callison slides. He is safe. A stolen base for Johnny Callison. He's in scoring position on a busted hit-and-run play. All right, Wilson's pitch to Sanchez. Line drive caught by Metzger. Callison scrambles back. There's one down. Horace Clark now. Wilson the stretch, the delivery to Clark. Ground ball, Metzger. He's up with it. Checks Callison at second. Throws to May, and there's two down. Gene Michael is up. They could walk him and go to Klein, but facing Gene Michael is better than facing a pitcher, so you're in good shape. Wilson the stretch, the pitch, and that's ball four, so they got the walk anyway. Here comes Steve Klein with two outs and two on. Wilson, the stretch, the delivery to Klein, Hit in the air to right. This is going to drive Win back a few steps, but he's got room, and he makes the catch for out number three. We go to the fifth with your score. Astros two, Yankees one in the Bronx. Before the demolition, before the first rehab of the Yankee Stadium. It was barely standing at this point, my friends. Tommy Helms, Jimmy Wynn, Lee May. 2-3-4 against Klein in the fifth, the pitch. Helms grounds it to third. That's Sanchez by the bag. He gloves it and throws carefully to Bloomberg for out number one. Here's Jimmy Wynn. Klein, the wind and the delivery. Hit to right, into right center. On the run is Callis, and he makes a nice running catch for out number two. Lee May is two for two with both Astros ribbies. The pitch from Klein. Ground ball, Gene Michael. Stick is up with it and throws carefully to Bloomberg for out number three. We're halfway through this one. Going to the bottom of the fifth with your score. Astros two, Yankees one. Top of the order coming for the Bronx Bombers, who weren't really Bronx Bombers in 72, but we'll go with it. Roy White, Thurman Munson, Bobby Mercer, bottom of the fifth. Wilson kicks and deals. Hey, struck out. Roy White with the pork and beans gas. Munson is one for two. He's up there now. Wilson winds and deals. Chance for Johnny Edwards to cross over. He nubs it in front of home plate. Edwards crosses over into the fair territory. Fires down to Lee May, and there's two down. Here's Bobby Mercer at 0 for 2. Wilson winds and deals. Hey, struck him out. Number five for Wilson. We go to the six with your score. Astros 2, Yankees 1. 
Watson, Raider, Edwards, 5, 6, 7, coming for Houston in the 6th against Steve, don't call me Ron, Klein. Watson's 0 for 1. Steve Klein kicks and deals. Ground ball, Gene Michaels. Stick is up with it and throws carefully to Bloomberg for out number one. Nine in a row retired now for Klein. Raider up there now 0 for 2. Klein kicks and deals. Hey, struck out Raider with a bender. That strike out number four for Klein and 10 in a row retired. Edwards now going to talk to dead people. The pitch. Hit in the air to right. Callison with room. Puts it away for out number three. We're going to the bottom of the sixth. We got a good game for our third game. We've had three really good games in our Stratomatic Vintage 1972 Classic Vintage 72 Cards and Dice 72 Festival. Bottom of the six, Bloomberg, Callison, Sanchez, four, five, six for the Yanks, the pitch. Hit to right and deep for Bloomberg. Back goes Jimmy Wynn. It's gone. And it's a 2 2 game. We got ballet time out there. Bloomberg is doing the nutcracker as he goes around the bases. Johnny Callison's one for two, the pitch to him. Hit to right and deep for Callison. Are they going back to back? Off the wall. Wynn's got to run it down. Callison gets into second with a double. The Houston bullpen is going to start activity. And it's going to be George Culver. Sanchez 0 for 2. Wilson the stretch, the pitch to him. Base hit to right. Are they going to wave Callison? No, they're going to hold him at third. Yankees at the corners with nobody out. Clark at the plate. Yankee in, or Astros infield is playing in. The pitch to Horace Clark. Base hit to center. It's 3-2 Yankees. Stopping at second is Sanchez. Four consecutive hits for New York. As soon as I said that about Bronx Bombers, they start hitting. Gene Michael, the stick, is at the plate. Wilson, the stretch, the pitch to Michael. Hit in the air to right. Coming in is Jim Wynn. He's going to make the catch. Sanchez has to hold. There's one down. Here's Klein. Wilson's pitch to him. He squares to bunt. He gets it down. Bloomberg gloves it. To the shock and horror of everyone involved. And turns and makes an accurate throw to Horace. Not Bloomberg. Lee May turns and flips to Tommy Helms. And that will move the runners up. To second and third with two outs now in the bottom of the sixth for Roy White. Wilson the stretch. The pitch to White. Ground ball Lee May. He's going to take it himself. And that's going to retire the Yankees. But the Yankees... In the bottom of the sixth, get the lead. They score two runs on four hits, and they leave two. We go to the seventh. Your score, Yankees three, Astros two. Klein is dealing. It's going to be tough for these Astros to mount a comeback unless Klein starts to tire. Metzger, Wilson, and Sedano on the seventh. The pitch to Roger Metzger. Ground ball, Gene Michael. He's up with it and throws carefully to Bloomberg for out number one. Don Wilson is up in the seventh. Klein's pitch to him. Hey, struck him out. He humped up on that fastball. Five strikeouts. Look at Klein. He's got uh, 13 in a row now. Sedano at the plate. Top of the seventh, 3-2 Yankees. The pitch. Ball four, that breaks the string. Tommy Helms comes up. Sedano working on his lead. Helms takes the pitch. Sedano's going. Munson's throw down to Clark is not in time. Sedano steals it. Helms with a chance to tie the game at three. We're in the top of the seventh. Good game. Klein the stretch, the pitch to Helms. 
Base hit for Tommy Helms. This will score Cedeno. We are tied at three. Yikes. Jimmy Wynn comes up. Klein the stretch. Checks Helms. The pitch home to win. Line drive. Caught by Horace Clark. And that'll end the seventh. It's time to stretch him out in the Bronx. And we've got a good one. 3-3 three, three tie as we go to the bottom of the seventh. Don Wilson is going to face Munson, Mercer, and Bloomberg. 2-3-4 in the Yankee order in the bottom of the seventh. All right. Wilson kicks and deals. Hit in the air to left. This is going to drive Watson back a few steps, but he's got room, and he makes the catch for out number one. Bobby Mercer's 0 for 3. The pitch from Wilson. Hit to right. High but not deep. Right center field. Win makes the catch. Out number two. Bloomberg homered in the sixth. The pitch from Wilson. Ball four. He didn't want any part of him. George Culver starts to throw again. Callison is at the plate. He's two for three. The pitch from Wilson. Hit to left. This is an adventure. Bob Watson. It's by him. Gonna bounce off the wall. It gets by him. He misplayed it. They're waving Bloomberg around third with speed we didn't know he had. Going into second is Callison. It's 4-3 Yankees. Sanchez is up there now. This may be Wilson's last batter. The stretch. The pitch to Sanchez. Hey, struck him out. He humped up on that one. Six strikeouts for Wilson. The Yankees get the lead back with a run on a hit, and they leave one. Nip and tuck and nip and tuck, and I'm not talking about the bad cable show. We go to the eighth with your score. Yankees four, Astros three. Sparky Lyle starts to throw in the Yankee bullpen. And he is joined by Lindy McDaniel. It's lefty-righty, double-barreled action, just the way the Major likes it whenever he's in Fun City. Lee May is up now against Klein. The pitch to Lee May is a chance for Munson. Is a chance for Munson. Popped up. Foul territory. He throws away the mask and makes the catch. Bob Watson comes to the plate. Doug Rader on deck. Klein winds and deals. Hit to left. Driving white back. Warning track. Makes the catch for out number one, number two. Remember what I said about counting. Rader 0 for 3. Edwards would be next. The pitch. Center field. Mercer in his tracks. Makes the catch for out number three. We go to the bottom of the eighth. With your score, Yankees 4, Astros 3, fun game, close game, nip and tuck. Don Wilson out for inning number 8. Clark, Michael, and Klein are in his future. All right. Wilson winds and deals to Horace Clark. Ground ball, Roger Metzger. He's up with it and throws to Lee May for out number 1. Gene Michael, one for two. The pitch from Don Wilson popped up. Roger Metzger on the infield dirt is going to take it for out number two. They're going to let Klein bat and try and finish the pitch. Combacker, gloved by Wilson. He's going to take it and flip to Lee May for the out. And that ends the Yankee eighth. We go to the ninth. With your score, Yankees 4, Astros 3. They're trying to finish a comeback victory here. Edwards, Metzger, and Wilson coming up, and you can bet they're going to be going to the bench. Sparky Lyle and Lindy McDaniel are ready in the bullpen. So we are going to get John Edwards, first of all, and then a pinch hitter for...
A pinch hitter for Metzger and for Wilson. Klein kicks and deals to Edwards. Baseline drive caught by Michael. One down. Steve Klein throwing a six hitter all singles. Metzger is due. He is being called back. It's going to be outfielder Norm Miller to pinch hit. Norm Miller pinch hitting for Roger Metzger. In the on deck circle is Jimmy Stewart. And I may get to do my bad Jimmy Stewart imitation yet. Klein winds and deals. Line drive caught by Horace Clark. That makes Jimmy Stewart the last chance saloon against Klein. And my, you can bet wherever there's something, 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 Jimmy will be there. <laughs> that's it, Clarence. Okay, that's about the extent of my Jimmy Stewart knowledge. All right, Klein wines and deals to Stewart. Hit to center. Bobby Mercer coming on, and the Yankees win this game. All right. That concludes our festival. Let's give you the totals. Yankees, four runs. Two, four, six, eight, nine hits. And they committed one error. The Astros, three runs. On two, four, six hits, and they committed one error. Winning pitcher, Steve Klein. Losing pitcher, Don Wilson. A pair of complete games. Eh, we'll make Klein the MVP of this one. And we hope you enjoyed our Stratomatic 1972 Vintage Festival with classic cards and X charts. I had fun. I hope you did too. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like this uh, Stratomatic Vintage Festival. Have a wonderful evening, my friends. Stay safe. So long, everybody.